Now, second-hand phones can get you into a lot of trouble or give you a lot of problems, yeah? And a lot of trouble, I mean, it can get you to an extent of being convicted for a crime you don't know anything about. So stick around. Let me tell you the dangers of having a second-hand phone. Now, uh, before we dive into this, first of all, I'm going to explain to you the difference between a refurbished phone and a second-hand phone. Yeah, most people confuse these two. Now, a refurbished phone is a phone which is slightly used, but the parts have been replaced, some or all of the parts, with new parts. But a second-hand phone is a phone which is slightly or maybe used for a very long time and no part has been altered. It has been simply uh, cleared of all the data it had by factory resetting the phone. Now, factory resetting doesn't guarantee you that this phone will work perfectly. Yeah, You find that it still has some of the old parts uh, for a second-hand phone. The battery might start giving you problems. You find a case whereby the screen starts going blank the phone starts restarting by itself you find cases whereby the phone even starts hanging a lot because of the old parts it still has now refurbished phones won't give you a lot of trouble but they also have some of their weaknesses for example refurbished phones can't operate like new phones you find that the quality they will display for you won't be the same as the quality uh, given to you by a new phone so you'd rather go for a new phone than a refurbished phone because uh, for refurbished phones, their prices and the prices compared to the new devices are slightly different, yeah? Like refurbished phones are somewhat also expensive. Now for second-hand phones, people who opt to go for second-hand phones because you find that second-hand phones are normally way cheaper compared to refurbished and new phones. Second-hand phones are not normally acquired in a legal way. Not all, most of them are not normally acquired in a legal way. Now these are mobile phones whereby you find uh, cases of theft or maybe robbery with violence whereby somebody was attacked and the phone stolen from them and this person sells the phone to a retailer or maybe to you directly in desperate need of cash. Now when you go ahead and purchase this second hand phone, you have cleared all the data, yes, but this phone can still be tracked down, yeah? Now, Especially these expensive phones, you find that the details are still registered in the original owner's name. There are cases whereby you find people convicted for crimes which they know nothing about. Yeah, I saw a video whereby somebody was uh, addressing this issue. Uh, it was a prisoner. Yeah, he was saying that he was uh, sold a second-hand mobile phone by a certain retailer. And the moment he started using it, he noticed some weird things happening in the form and it had some files still in the phone. Now, he deleted several files, but uh, a few weeks later, he was tracked down and hunted by the police and he was accused of murder because the phone was disposed and the owner of the phone was found dead. Yeah, so this guy was sold a phone which was involved in some crime activities. And this is why I was telling you that second-hand phones might get you arrested. Yeah? So the moment you decide to go and purchase a second-hand phone from a retailer or an individual, especially avoid purchasing second-hand phones from individuals. Yeah? It's way dangerous that way. Because individuals or maybe strangers, you find somebody in the streets selling you a mobile phone. That can get you into a lot of trouble. Yeah, so if you go to a retailer and want, wishes to sell you a second-hand phone or you want to buy it because you find it way cheaper, make sure they give you a receipt. And not just any receipt, make sure it's a verified receipt and make sure that you confirm that this uh, retailer is a registered retailer and authorized dealer of second-hand mobile phones. Because if you don't confirm this, you might get in trouble and the moment you come back trying to look for this retailer, you find that he no longer exists. The shop is closed. Then you are left to deal with the police by yourself. So next time you go ahead, make sure you confirm with this retailer and confirm if they are verified and authorized to deal with the second-hand phone. Not that all second-hand mobile phones are bad, but most of them can get you into big trouble, as I've explained to you in this video. Yeah, so that's it for today. Just be careful, but I'd rather suggest you go for a new phone, yeah? Anyway, for more cool videos and more informative content, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Jinani R2 Junior. I'll see you. Peace out.